I've got to tell you that I, I just admire you both so much and your your gorgeous family um, and the way you live. And and you have been sewing masks and delivering them to people in the community and, and businesses and everything, right? <clears throat> yeah, you know, there was a really big surge to make masks when everybody first went into shutdown because everyone was looking for a tangible way to be helpful. And what we found is that it's kind of dropping off a little bit. People get they get exhausted from the momentum of being helpful. But now that we know that we're gonna have to wear masks for the foreseeable future to take care of one another, um, it's so important that we continue to make them, not only for our healthcare workers, but for all of our essential workers. We've been dropping them off recently at gas stations, at supermarkets. I've dropped them off at some businesses in town. Um, so if you have the means to continue sewing, like, do it. It's a marathon, Amazing. not a sprint. Yeah. So you also started writing this book about uh, love, livestock, and other big lessons on the farm, the rural <laughs> yeah. diaries. You started this when you were pregnant with your daughter, right? I did. Yeah. You know, I, um, I've i been pretty vocal about uh, the miscarriages that my husband and I suffered. And the pathway from total grief to joy is a really tricky path. And so I wanted to honor that process. And I also wanted to pay tribute to this community that really held us very close and took very good care of us. So we see so much in the media and on social media about big splashy lives and here's the yacht I'm on and here's my perfect body and my $8 million dress. And I, I just wanted to shine the spotlight on some really noble lives that I have the pleasure to live around. And the, your book is fabulous. Like I said, I just started reading it. I just got it. Mm. And I just, think that you're also a writer. You're also an author. Thanks. I, it's a weird thing. You know, it, it's very easy to play a character on TV because if the writing's terrible, you can just blame somebody else. Um, the editing's <laughs> bad, you can blame somebody else. But when you write a book about yourself, it is real scary. So um, it's been you know, one of those weeks where it's like, I'm very excited to put the book out. I'm also very nervous how it's going to be received. And I hope people know that it's a, it's an act of love. You know, I say on the back of the book that it's a love letter to my town and my farm and my husband. And I mean that. Well, it is so great it's, to see what? you and see y'all smiling. Congratulations Yay! on everything that's happening there. And Kelly will Thanks. soon be enjoying love and livestock herself. Very soon, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. You can pick up Rural Diaries everywhere books are sold.